Hey there, everyone. Welcome to my final 2022 NFL mock draft. This one is for round one, folks. As you all know, Thursday is the NFL mock draft. Boom! So I want to get the round one mock draft over with before the big, big event, folks. And yeah, it is going to be a big, big day to remember, especially since... Last time Las Vegas was canceled due to the pandemic. Oh my word. Too bad Raiders fans will have to wait till Friday due to due to that trade for Devontae Adams. <laughs> oh man. But at least they're getting a star receiver out of it. Anyways, anyways, let's break down my mock draft. First up at number one, I have Jacksonville selecting Trayvon Walker, edge rusher from Georgia. <sighs> Can't exactly blame me. There's some chances they might go offensive line, but hey, they, you can't exactly blame me. At number two, I have Detroit Lions selecting Derek Stingley Jr., LSU. He could go top three either way. <sighs> at number three, I have Houston Texans selecting Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan. Oh, man, so he could still be in AFC South regardless if even if he skips Jacksonville because Detroit might not take him. Next up, up at number four, I have the Jets taking the sauce. Yep, Sauce Gardner from Cincinnati. Oh, man. Next up at five, I have the Giants taking Iki Iguanu from North Carolina State. Next up, I got Carolina Panthers taking Evan Neal from Alabama. Oh, man. Next up, first trade. I have the Giants trading down with the New England Patriots. And they get Ka and they get Kaivon. Or is it Kaven? Either way, it's Kaivon from Oregon. Yeah. Because, yeah, Giants won an extra first-round pick. And I think the Patriots are going to give them one. As for Falcons, I have them picking Garrett Wilson, because guess what? No Julio Jones? He's gone. Calvin Ridley? He's suspended. They need a receiver. They need a receiver for Marcus Mariota. <laughs> yeah, that is basically why I have going with Garrett Wilson at eight. Next up at number nine, I have Seattle picking Charles Cross. And next up at number 10, I have definitely started the conspiracy. I think the Jets are going to trade out of that pick and then give that pick to San Francisco in exchange for Debo Samuel. Yeah. Yeah, I am saying Jets are going to get Debo Samuel and give them t picks 10 and 35. And as for San Francisco, I have them selecting Drake London from USC. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. <sighs> Next up at 11, I tried to make some trades with Washington, but it didn't work out. So I still have them picking Sam Howell from North Carolina, and I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, it's quite simple. Carson Wentz is the QB. <laughs> Next up, Minnesota Vikings. I have them going with George Karlakis, edge rusher from Purdue. And I have Houston Texans building up their, their defense even further with Kyle Hamilton from no Notre Dame. Oh, boy. Because guess what? They lost their safety, Justin Reed, to Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, man. Next up, I, next up I have Baltimore Ravens taking Jordan Davis from Georgia. And then I have Philadelphia Eagles selecting Devin Lloyd from Utah. And then New Orleans Saints, I have the going Chris Olave from Ohio State. Yep, a receiver. Oh, man. <laughs> Next up, Los Angeles Chargers. I have them going Trevor Penning from Northern Iowa. <sighs> Next up, the Eagles. Time to build up your defense even further with Andrew Booth Jr. from Clemson. Oh, boy. Next up, as for the Saints, bring on the Rain Man with Bernard Rain Man from Central Michigan. Oh, man. 
And next up, Pittsburgh Steelers. I have the goal on Malik Willis from Liberty. He is the future, according to Steelers media, folks. Boom. <laughs> but will he be there at 20? Yes, I think so. And as for Giants, what thanks to that Patriots pick, I think Jermaine Johnson the second will be there for the Giants. <laughs> Next up, Green Bay Packers. I have them going to receiver for the first time since 2002. Who is it? Well, it's quite simple. Jameson Williams. Next up, I have Arizona Cardinals going Tyler Lindebaum. Center from Iowa. Next up, Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. I have them picking Travis Jones, defensive lineman from Connecticut. From Connecticut. They got to build up their defensive line. Oh boy. Next up, I have Buffalo Bills selecting Traylon, Traylon Burks from Arkansas. And then all of a sudden, I have Titans trading down this pick. It gave the pick to the Lions, and the Lions, I have them picking Desmond Ritter. For some reason, Jared Goff is not the solution. Der Jared Goff is not the solution. So I think they, I think it will happen. I think it will happen. Titans will let Desmond Ritter fall to the Lions. If that were the if that if a trade were to happen. Next up, I have Tampa Bay Buccaneers going Trey McBride because I think Gronk might be done. Might be done with the Bucks, folks. Oh man. Next up, I have Green Bay Packers going Tyler Smith to build up their their offensive line. Oh, man. Next up, Kansas City Chiefs picks Devontae Wyatt and, to build up their, their defense and Sky Moore to give Pat, Patrick Mahomes a weapon since Tyreek Hill is no longer on the team. And next up, Cincinnati Bengals, Zion Johnson from Boston College. <sighs> Got to build up their offensive line. And then finally, Tennessee Titans. I have them going Kenyon Green. Offensive guard from Texas A&M. No, Roger Saffold's no longer on the team. Got to get an offensive guard. Anyways, that's my mock draft. I'll see y'all and I bring you even more breaking news.